Today on With the First Pick, Rick, we're not doing a one-round mock draft. <laughs> no, we're not doing a two-round mock oh, draft. Stop. You can't go any farther than that, can we? We're doing a three-round mock draft. That's <laughs> right. There's no time to dilly-dally because Debo says we got to get through these things in a hurry. He's got some people to boss around in his new position here. So uh, before we get going, Rick, how many days until the 2024 NFL? I, I don't know. I'm still over the shock of us doing a three-round mock <laughs> because there's going to be names of flying left and right here. So you better put on your seatbelt because here we go. But put on your seatbelt. If you did not know, there are only, Brian Wilson, eight days until the 2024 NFL draft. And if I'm calculating right about – four days before we're together up in uh, the studios. Once again, you can't, you can't tear us apart, Rick. Is there anyone that you spend more time with than me and Debo? Uh, no, it's, it. no, I, I'd honestly say that I've spent more time with you and Debo than my wife and I'm yeah, supposed I to be retired. I, I, I think about this often just two years ago. If someone had told you that you would have been like, Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> what did yeah. I do to deserve this? Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing with my life right now? <laughs> I but I continue to ask myself that <laughs> as you should, by the way, I'm Ryan Wilson. That of course, Rick Spielman. This is episode 148. And in terms of the number 10, Rick, uh, excuse me, the number eight, anyone pop into your head? Uh, boy, that's a hard one. Marcus Mariotti? Was he eight? <laughs> Marcus Mariotti, I love it. <laughs> How about Troy Aikman? You ever heard of him? Oh, yeah. He was pretty good. Steve Young, you heard of him? Yeah, he's fine, too. Shout out to Ray Guy, Hall of Fame punter. <laughs> and then my personal favorite, number eight, Tommy Maddox. I had to get that one in there. <laughs> reigning right. MVP as well. <laughs> Kenny Pickett? Who's the reigning MVP? Oh, LJ7. LJ8. <laughs> I can't even do the thing right. Dude. What is wrong with you? I'm tired. Uh, I just got back from doing, uh, I was in New York City yesterday, Rick. I'll tell you this story quickly, doing some uh, draft stuff with the, the college people over at CBS Sports Network. And Randy Cross was there. And Randy Cross told a great story. Do you know where Randy Cross went to college? Uh, no, I do not. UCLA. So he's in the UCLA, okay. came out of the UCLA in, in the mid-70s, second round pick for the 49ers, played in all those Super Bowl teams with Joe Montana. And he said when he was drafted, uh, the offensive line coach took him out to the field after he gave his press conference. So it was a different, <laughs> a different time, apparently. Um, went to the weight room first. Guess how many times he did 225? I'm going to say 30. Two. Two. One, two. Like he weighed 260, played guard, I believe, at UCLA. And he was a bigger guard at the time. Guess how many pull-ups he did? Zero. One. <laughs> so they did all the testing after they drafted these kids, which is amazing. He said he ran like a four seven forty, which checks out. He was he moved really well in space, but a different era, Rick. Uh, hopefully, we have tested these guys before we draft them. Although it turned out Randy Cross was pretty good. But let's get into the old uh, mock draft machine here, Debo, because we got things to do. Okay, can we preference or since there were no rules set on this, or oh, Debo geez, send it's a mock draft, there? Rick? <laughs> okay, I know, but usually, so we're not doing any trades today, correct? No trades. That's right. We're going to rip through this. So we're just going to go straight through and rip through it and try to try to do the best that we can without any instructions from our fearless leader, Debo. I'm going to try not to uh, fail as I have failed in the past in these mock drafts where I make these stupid picks like Graham Barton to the Chiefs. I'm going to try to be a little better, uh, but by all accounts, people think you do a pretty good job at this, which whatever, I I've, I've accepted that and moved on. Yeah. Well, don't be surprised if Graham Barton goes before the Chiefs from some of the rumors going on out there right now. Well, let's hope so. I don't take him again at 32. All right, Rick, you get to go first. So it, did it start? Did you say I'm on the clock? or You are officially on the clock. You want Debo to put his top head on? No. Why don't he does the music? Da -da -da -da. The Bears are officially <laughs> Uh, that's, that's the Maslin, Maslin fight song, song, baby. Yeah, Maslin Tigers. You asked uh, for it, you got it, Rick. All right, Rick, you were officially on the clock representing the Chicago Bears at number one. Okay, and we have three rounds to get through, so I'm going to make this quick. No questions asked, Caleb Williams. Okay, we've done this a trillion times at this point. <laughs> uh, number two, Jaden Daniels. Oh, come on. come on, already. It's controversy, and we only got into the second pick. Look, man, uh, if we're going on the tape in year one, it's Jaden Daniels. Hit that button, Debo. Okay, and then I'm going to be non-controversial and go with Drake May. Drake May it is. 
Again, he's only 21 years old. I think he's going to get better. All right, this is where things get crazy. Nope, I'm taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Boring. Yeah, it's okay. We're, we get, we got three rounds, man. This is like when you start the road trip to Vegas and you're 30 minutes in, you're you're like ah. By 45 minutes to, to six hours, you're you're dragging. All right, Chargers. Now you could take a tight end here, Rick. Nah, not going to do it. I've got I don't have any receivers, so I have to go with Malik Neighbors here. And that's fine because we're doing three rounds. You have pick 37 and pick 69. So we'll circle back at that. The Giants are on the clock. I mean, don't even think about it. Move on. What, which direction are you thinking? I'm thinking about taking Roma Dunze. I, that's what I said. Let's take him and move on. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted like an offensive lineman or something. No, no. They, they just signed a bunch of guards. Come on, move on. <laughs> so the the Jets did too, but the Jets need as many offensive tackles as possible. All right, Roma Dunze it is, Debo. Rick's got a pickleball date. Uh boy, this is a hard one. Let me think. The uh, Joel. And that, sir, is why you're going to be in a Hallmark movie before you know it. I was like, he's not taking JJ McCarthy here, is he? New. No. All right, next up, the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> all right let's go with my guy jared verse i know rick Come likes dallas. i know you like dallas a little better i like jared a little better all right that's wrong could be I, that's a dollar bet debo will you put that uh if both are on the clock with atlanta that atlanta takes dallas turner over jared verse please. that's fine you can do that you probably have inside information so that they, that you just steal I, money i don't point. need inside information <laughs> i like to keep myself pure and my evaluations. Is that what you call it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know I'm Chicago. I'm up. The three top receivers are gone. Um, although I don't need a receiver, I need a pass rusher. This is easy. I'll take Dallas Turner. Okay. But if I'm Chicago, I'm like trying like heck to trade out of this pick. I was going to say trade down is a real possibility yeah. here. Yeah, huge. So Jets fans have been clamoring for a couple things. Would you trade down out of 10 if we were having trades or in real life, I guess, is even a better question? Yes. Oh, okay. So you, if there's a if there's a Roma Dunze or an offensive tackle you're dead set on taking, you're still then taking yeah, phone calls? Yeah, I'm still taking calls. Okay. All right, Debo, uh, let's see the offensive line. Because, uh, man, Jets fans, real Jets fans, they want offensive line help. No, they don't. <laughs> what do they want? Huh? So you're you're uh huh. go ahead, Joe, Joe Douglas. I'm just sitting here. You're 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 weighing whether you want to make Aaron Rodgers mad or whether you want to make the team better. Yeah, I'm weighing in. I pushed all my chips in this offseason. Okay. All right. All right, Brock Bowers, then if we're gonna go in that direction. We're done messing around, Brock Bowers. It is. Ooh. And that's Ryan Wilson at RyanWilson.com. <laughs> yeah that's that's it hit me up at ryanwilson.com <laughs> all right uh no brainer uh i didn't have to move up to get him but he's oh, sitting yep. here so, so i have to take him jj mccarthy that's a savvy move all right that is for the minnesota vikings at number 11 yes all right next up the broncos Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think we're going to have to go defense here. So I like Quinion as my cornerback one, but I'm going to take Terry on here because I like the idea of pairing him with Patrick Sertan and just getting the Alabama thing going on the outside. Let's go Terry on. Okay. I love when you copy me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're going to do it here. Yeah, I'm going to do it here. Michael right. Penix Jr. Got to take the quarterback. So I've heard that he could potentially have a Will Levis situation that if he gets past 14. Yeah, easily. He could he could drop a little bit. Yeah. All he's, right. Boy, Debo, on your big board, he's buried down there. Right. So pick 13, the Raiders are, are taking quarterback, Michael Penix Jr. Yeah, I got to say these out loud, Rick, for people who are listening, as Debo reminds okay. me. Okay, next up, this is uh, an absolute slam dunk as – is that what you call a slam dunk? As Rick likes to say, the New Orleans Saints are taking Olaf Ashnew, Penn State left tackle. Oh, yeah. No we question. do this a lot. All right. We, just quickly, we do this a lot, and Ola always seems to be here. What are the chances he could go before 14? Because I feel like it's pretty high. 
Uh, I think there's a chance, yes. I think if he's fallen, maybe someone trades up to get him, but I think he won't be here at this time. But okay. the way the board's falling, that's a great pick for New Orleans. 15, the Indianapolis Colts are on the board. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with Quinion Mitchell. I need a corner. All right, next up. And this is where things are very interesting. Yes, I knew you were going to say that. 16, the Seattle Seahawks. They need interior offensive line help. Oh, man. There was a little bit of a wild card on who they pick. uh, Yeah, I'm going to take Byron Murphy, defensive tackle out of Texas. Ooh, that's a good pick. Because I, I like Jackson Powers Johnson, and you mentioned Graham Barton potentially, but there's there's time to get those guys. Next up, 17, the Jaguars. Uh, boy, I can go edge rusher here. I know they extended Allen, Josh Allen, but they don't have another edge guy. Uh, I'm going to say that Latu has some medical concerns. I can go, boy, this is a tough one. And you're just speculating a lot, too. You don't know that, right? Yeah, I don't right. know that. Yeah. Yeah. You took Murphy. I, that was a consideration for me. But I am, I'm going to go, I have to go. I, I'm really considering Brian Thomas Jr. here. Oh. Because I need a receiver. Um, I, I, Let's shake it up. Let's go with Brian Thomas Jr. there. Yeah. Why not? Next up, the Cincinnati Bengals. This just feels like a layup at number 18. Let me just double double check what we did in free agency. Yeah, you is need Bo, a right tackle. Is Bo Nick still there? Oh, uh, okay. In that case, that was a joke, Rick. <laughs> Tele Fawaga, come on down. Oregon State, right tackle. Bada bing, bada boom. 19, Los Angeles Rams. First Sean McVay, first round pick. Boy, um... I'm going to stay in the home. I got. I need another edge. Ooh. So Byron Young, Kobe Turner, and then I'm going to put Latu up in there with those guys. I'll go with Latu. All right. They have 11 picks in this draft, if I recall. By the way, Rick, I saw you in the athletic story talking about trading down. You Ooh. quote about uh, trading your mother for a seventh round pick was in there. Oh, good. Yeah, my mom's very excited about that. She's getting a lot of pub. <laughs> she gets a lot of pub this time of year. <laughs> oh, she gets the newspapers. She refuses to get a, a iPad or a smartphone. She uses her flip phone, and the only thing she'll read is out of a magazine. I was going to so, say you had to run down to the corner store to get the newspaper so she could see her name in the paper. Yeah, yeah, no. So uh, we still have subscriptions to four different magazines for it, so they get delivered to her house because she that refuses awesome. to go on the internet. Your mom is single-handedly keeping the uh, magazine business alive, so <laughs> shout out to her. <laughs> All right, uh, Debo, scroll up. Let's see here. See how angry I can make Rick. I just want to scroll down, excuse me, I should say. I want to see what else we got. Uh, for the Steelers here at 20, I mean, there's. I'm not even going to – I'm not even yeah, going to – There's some good players up there. Yeah. All right, let's go up to the top. I'm taking – we have picked 51 as well. There's some guys I like at center in, in round two. I, I want to get nasty Rick in this Arthur Smith offense. I'm taking J.C. Latham. Awesome. I like that pick. Over over Jackson Powers Johnson. Interesting. Well, it's an Alabama kid. <laughs> You're obligated financially to say that. 21, then the uh, Miami Dolphins are on the clock. And Dolphins fans, they don't want a tight end here. They don't want an offensive lineman. No, here, so. They have to take an offensive lineman. Uh, All right, well, I'll let you tell it to him. I, uh, I've got to take, boy, this is a tough one for me. Let me go. I, I, I'm going to go with, uh, Fatanu. I have to go oh, with him because he can move inside the guard. By the way, I told you that he gave us the, uh, explanation to the shorts, right? Yeah. Uh, what did he say? Oh, no, I didn't know the explanation for the oh, okay. uh, it's biker shorts he wears to play in. He he says that teams refer to them as biker shorts. And um maybe after the break, I'll 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 let you know exactly what he said. I'm sending Debo the clip right now. Uh all right, next up. Twenty two. Gotta turn the turn the clock over to the boss here, Rick. Debo, do you want Cooper? Do you want an edge rusher? Offensive lineman, what are you looking for? 
I want friend of the program, Jackson Powers Johnson. Oh, man. What are you going to do with all these interior offensive linemen? You have Landon Diggerson, you have Cam Jurgens. That's you two. Don't care? Can you, tell me? <laughs> you got you got Rick's guy, uh, Tyler Steen. We had a Hall of Famer retire. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Jackson Powers Johnson, it is. He is a friend of the program and the guy that Rick single handedly tried to ruin his career with the chest bump. <laughs> All right, Rick, J.J. McCarthy at 11. You stay put. He got 23. Uh, so you, this is the best of both worlds. Um, hmm. I know that Coach Flo, Coach Flores, likes to do a lot of pressure packages. They get their corners in tough situations. Uh, I'm going – boy, I'm – Oh boy. <laughs> it's tough on the clock, isn't it, Rick? You never experienced this pressure. Oh, I've never have experienced you. this before. Um, I need interior help. You know what I'm going to do? What? Give me Newton. I'm going to go. I need an interior pass rusher. I'm going to go with uh, Johnny Newton. Johnny Newton, 23, the second first round pick for the Minnesota Vikings. Next up, 24. All right, let's see. Hit all the offensive uh, tackles there, Debo. Let's see what we got here. Let's plan what we're going to do with Tyler Smith. <clears throat> so, Marius and Tyler Guyton, those are the only ones left in the first round. Hit interior offensive line real quick, Debo. Let's see if we want to. I think what I'm going to do, Rick, I'm taking Graham Barton. Let Tyler Smith play left tackle, and Graham Barton can kick inside. Okay. that's uh, I'm not going to argue with that, although I don't know how. I, you know, I make sure I understood how good. Tyler Smith is at left tackle. Well, we saw it at Tulsa when he led the league, led the That's country. Tulsa. In the, That's not the NFL. He also led the league in holding penalties, I think, coming out. <laughs> yeah. He can hit the button, Debo. 24, the Cowboys get Graham Barton. Uh, Tyler Smith's going to be fine. 25, the Packers on the board, on the clock, excuse me. They need some offensive line help. They need defensive back help. Rick, what you doing? Hmm. No, I'm going to go with Nate Wiggins. I need corners. So, All right. uh, new uh, defensive coordinator. I'll go with Nate. Uh, can I change that? Could you bring the card back? Mm -mm. Card is card has evaporated. <laughs> Submit it. It has been submitted. All right. Oh man, let's see what we're gonna do here. So, oh man, oh man. You know what I'm gonna do, Rick? Hmm. I thought about wide receiver here, but instead, I'm going to take Cooper DeGene because of his potential versatility in the secondary. That's a, uh, yep, yeah, I'd agree with that. That's a good pick. All right. The second first round pick for the Arizona Cardinals. They took Marvin Harrison at junior at four at 27. Rick, you are on the clock. Oh, boy. Uh, I've got to go. I, there's still a corner up there that I, I go give me Kool Aid. Of John G Jonathan Gann and I got to help by secondary. Oh my gosh! So Kool Aid over Marius Mims, kick Paris Junior. Paris Johnson Junior. The other side. Oh my gosh! All right. I, I don't know if Mims will be lining up or not. If he's hurt or not. Oh, stop it! <laughs> uh, here's what I'm doing. I have Ad Mitchell higher on my tiers board, which we talked about in the last podcast. But because of fit, Rick, <clears throat> I'm taking Lad McConkey here, 28 for the Bills. Also keeps the Chiefs from getting them, which is a big concern for me if I'm... You know you signed... Uh, uh, Curtis Samuel? Yeah. Don't There's care. Play slot. Okay. That's Don't good. care. I, I'm... Unlike you, I think Ladd can play anywhere. Oh, uh, boy. I'm picking for Detroit. Yeah. You ever heard of that team? Yeah. Um, let me look at the interior offensive line. And... Uh, Edge, chop Robinson, please Let's send him down. Chop over Darius. All right, next up, the Baltimore Ravens. They would have loved to have Lad McConkey here. Uh, they have some offensive line needs as well. Amarius Mims, the right tackle. Could have taken Thanks. Tyler Guyton here. Would you prefer Tyler over Amarius? I'm taking Amarius. Yes. I'm just asking you. Yes. Oh my gosh. If Amarius played every game last year, what would the conversation be? I don't know. You're asking me to look into a crystal ball that I don't have. All right. Give me a Marius Debo. I'm not afraid of Rick. 
<laughs> they got rid of Morgan Moses. They need him. 31, San Francisco 49ers. Oh, I'm taking Tyler Guyton. I need right tackle. All right. Would you have taken Mar Marius here? Had Tyler gone to pick before? Nope. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> All right. 31, Tyler Guyton, right tackle, Oklahoma, going to the San Francisco 49ers. And the final pick of the first round. Is it going to be A.D. Mitchell or is it going to be his teammate, Xavier Worthy? Uh, it looks like Rashi Rice, and yeah, I think you've touched on this before, may not be starting the season with the Chiefs. We'll see what happens over the ensuing months with his, his racing incident. Uh, I'm going to take A.D. Mitchell, Texas wide receiver, to the Kansas City Chiefs to pick 32 since Graham Barton is already off the board, Rick. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right, the first round is in the books. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the Carolina Panthers finally get to make the pick, and maybe if uh, Debo thinks it makes sense, we'll give Rick the answer as to why Troy Fatano wears shorts. And there, started to get in the groove. So impressive. Lock your schedules. Aces are coming to CBS Sports Network. All right, Carolina Panthers on the clock. Debo, do you want to give Rick the clip, or we want to wait on that? We need about 15 seconds. Oh, okay. All right. I can filibuster for 15 filibuster seconds. Filibuster like Rick. Yeah. So, uh, Rick, if you're the Carolina Panthers at 33, are you entertaining any phone calls on Thursday night, Friday morning? Yes. Yeah, I would be to move down. If there's absolutely someone you love here that maybe you had a top 15 grade on, still uh, entertaining those not. calls? There's not. Oh, <laughs> you can confirm that there isn't. There isn't. All right. So you're trading down. I mean, you're trading down in hopes of getting more picks, obviously, and then trying to come back and get some uh, as many offensive linemen and wide receivers as possible, I would imagine. Yes. All right. So uh, last uh, week, Rick, and you can see this uh, YouTube exclusive at NFL on CBS on YouTube. I talked to Troy Faltano and I had to ask him, of course, about the shorts incident. And here, here's what he said. To be honest, it's hard. It, it's I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's a it's a lot easier to move around when your knees aren't covered and uh, the, the those pants, the Adidas uniforms, man, they're, they're very tight and they're not meant for guys like me. And, uh, <laughs> those things when they're around your knees, it, it, if I wouldn't say they restrict your ability to move, but it feels like yeah, it's restricting it. So if if a ref's gonna let me get away with it, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? So oh, is that a uniform uh, violation? You know, I've, I've, you know, I wore my shirt up, you know, I've done it, I've done it all. And, uh, some refs, you know, they're, they're, they're a lot stricter than others. Okay. Um, uh, but you know, some, mo most of the time they just let me do whatever. I uh, like it. Yeah. And you, you play fast anyway, so I'm not going to ask you to change. Have, have any teams asked you about that or is that just a Rick yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, they have? No, it, yeah, they have. A lot of teams have. Like, so, <laughs> so why, why are you wearing biker shorts out there or, or like, like, why are you rolling your shirt up? Like, does this jersey not fit? No, the jersey fits. It just is super tight. So there you go. Is that a satisfactory answer, Rick? Uh, no, because then he's not going to be able to move because he's going to have to wear his pants over his knees or he's not going to be able to line up on Sundays. So he has to, that's his, his uh, homework. He has to wear long pants uh, after away from practice to get accustomed to it. He was a great interview. Uh, a really engaging young man, as I like to say. So check that out if you want to see the whole interview there. All right, Rick, you filibustered enough. 33, Carolina Panthers. Hey, Debo, put up the receivers. I'm going to throw a, a zinger in here because I'm hurting to get bored with my co-host picks. You're not going with the guy I think you're going with. I'm going with the guy that I'm going to go with. Oh. All right, let's hear it. Ricky Pearsall. Unbelievable. <laughs> he did it, Debo. Let the Adam Thielen jokes ensue. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely would have been there at 39. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> From the peanut gallery. All right. The New England Patriots are on the board. Hit offensive tackle, Debo. Uh, oh, Jordan Morgan. And hit wide receiver. Oh, my gosh. This is making me. Oh, man. All right. Like, I love the idea of Troy Franklin or Keon Coleman here or Jordan Morgan as well. I'm going to go Jordan Morgan. I'll worry about the receivers at 68. There's not going to be an offensive lineman at 68 that can probably help right away. Oh, boy. Did I put you in a bind, Rick? Put me in a bind. All right. Well, now you have some decisions to make. <clears throat> oh, boy. You want me to throw another zinger in for you? Why not? Let's sing it up. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, go uh, for it. What what's the uh, is there any tackles left, Devo? No. Sumataya. There's conversations that he's going to be a first round pick. I didn't see it watching him. I don't see it. Yeah, I think he's more of a day two guy. Kieran Amagaji, the uh, the young man from Yale, we talked to it. He's, he's raw but athletic. Patrick right. Ball, I don't think you're very high. I'm going to All make right, this is for picks. the Cardinals at 35. Sorry, thank you, Debo. All right, you ready for this one? Yeah. Braden Fisk. Oh, God, I love that. <laughs> so the Cardinals get Marvin Harrison Jr., Kool-Aid McKinstry, Braden Fisk. Golly, that's a really good pick, Rick. Yeah, what's up? All right, next up, the Washington Commanders. They have Jaden Daniels, and next up, what else do they want to do here? Oh, man. All right, let's see. So edge rush. Let's go edge, Debo, because we we sold off all our edge pieces. So we have Dorrance Armstrong. I get that. We signed Clee Farrell. I understand that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I love those top three names. I, I don't want to get too crazy. I'm thinking about it. We have a pick in at 40. I'm going to take Darius Robinson here, edge rusher out of Missouri, or Defensive lineman, we can move him up and down the line. All right, Rick, you're back on the clock with the Los Angeles Chargers. Took Malik Neighbors at five. Is offensive lineman in their near future? Uh, I don't like any of the offensive linemen. Okay. <laughs> Boy. You know what I'm going to do? What? I am going to go with... Uh, I know toughness, everything like that. Let me go Enos Rakestraw. Oh, he's still there. That's a great pick for the Chargers. Devin Witherspoon light, not as fast, but just as physical cornerback out of Missouri. All right, Titans are back on the board. They got Joe Alt. You know what, Debo? Hit the tackle button. <laughs> I'm going to see how far down this road I can go. So, I uh, scroll down to uh, here. I want to see who else is there before I get crazy here. Blake Fisher, Roger Rosengarten. Roger Rosengarten has a chance to be a day two guy. Um, not yet. Please don't. Do no, that. not yet. I'm just putting it out there for the folks. And hit interior offensive line, Debo. All right. So they're all gone. All right. Let's make our way over. Yeah, boy. To the. Okay. I know what I'm doing here, Rick. Go to the edge rush button. And give me Western Michigan's Marshawn Nealon. Mm. Love it. Reach. Yeah, don't like that at all. That's okay. I'm you just took Ricky Pearsall. You're back on the clock. You could have had him at 39, as Devo pointed out to you. And here you are with the Carolina Panthers. Ricky Pearsall, what's next? Another, another wide receiver? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, go to the... Uh... Corners, Debo. Go to the edges since I traded. Give me Braswell. I'll go with I'll go with Braswell. It's a good pick. Love Christian Braswell. All right. <clears throat> Washington's back on the clock. Man, they're gonna have a lot of picks in the uh, top 100 here. Jane Downs a two. Darius Robinson, the edge rusher, defensive lineman out of Missouri at 36. And we're back on at 40. So, Debo, go to cornerback. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, Quan Martin, I thought, had a pretty good season. They drafted uh, Manny Forbes, who struggled um, a little bit last year. I've got an edge rusher. Let's go to, to wide receiver, because I think we could use a little depth there as well you're boring me just make a pick let's go all right let's do keon coleman i like keon coleman here you're boring me <laughs> <laughs> so terry mclaurin Jahan dotson and then uh keon coleman to learn as we go mm. all right so at 41 green bay package you took nate wiggins we still got some wide receivers out there and xavier worthy quarterback bo nick still hanging out let me do my deal. You just keep talking. Oh, dear. Debo wants me to remind people of who's on the big board, and Rick's like he needs quiet time, Debo, so I tried. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I could go safety here um, because I need a young guy next to Mr. McKinney, who I 
uh, sign from the, but I'm going to wait on a safety thing. Oh, all right. You talk yourself out of it. Uh, let me go interior offensive line. Oh, no. Don't do it. Let me get hit, see the uh, tackles. Hmm. Oh, boy. Shot clock's about to go off, Rick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can't stand the uh, pressure. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. <laughs> All right. Real. I, I am going to go with Zach Frazier. Oh, you monkey. Man, <laughs> just needed to be there. Ten more picks for the Steelers. Oh, boy. We're in a spot. Omar Khan's in the spot. All right, next up, the Houston Texans at 42. This is their first pick. Uh, Because they traded down to allow the Vikings to go to 23. So I think what I'm doing here, go to defensive tackle, because that's a that's one of the – there's not a ton of needs on this team, which is crazy to say. Let's go to defensive tackle. Uh, You know what? Score down a little bit, Debo. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so we pick 42 and 59. I'm going to be patient here. Let's go to cornerback real quick, Debo. I'm going to take Mikey Sainer still. Oh, good player. Be a good nick for him. Nickel out of Michigan. Uh, all right, Falcons on the, on the, still on the board. Xavier Worthy, Troy Franklin. Bo Nix is still there. Who else we got, Debo? Kamari Lasseter. Edge Cooper. We haven't talked a lot about him or Peyton Wilson. So, the world is your oyster, Rick. I got an edge. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I am going to go Xavier Worthy. I need a vertical stretch guy. Man. Man. Can uh, Kirk throw the ball that far? Yeah, he can. <laughs> All right, Michael Penix Jr. At 13 for the Las Vegas Raiders. And what do we want to do here? So let's see. Offensive tackle. We got to start. We got to beef up this group. I'm going to go Patrick Paul here out of Houston. I think this is, uh, I think he has a chance to go higher than this. I think he has a chance to be a good player. They need some help along the offensive line. Thayer Mumford is a seventh round pick that started at right tackle. And he's been okay, but I think you can upgrade there. All right, next up, Saints at 14. You took Olaf Ashnu at 14, and then at 45, you are back on the clock. Uh, Give so me wide... a, let, go to the receiver. I was say, wide receiver time, baby. Yep. Uh, Give me uh, Roman Wilson. I'm going to take Roman Wilson. Well, slot guy. Is Michael Thomas still on the roster, or have they moved on from him? Uh, moved on from him. Okay, so they have some needs there. Yep. Next up. Indianapolis Colts, they have Quinion Mitchell at uh, 15 in the first round, now at 46. Oh, boy. All right, hit the wide receiver button yet again, Debo, because I think I might stay in that same. Okay, this is easy. Anthony Richardson's coming back. He's going to be in the Shane Steichen offense. I think Debo knows what's going to happen here. Malachi Corley out of <laughs> Western Kentucky. What are you laughing at? That is a fantastic pick. <laughs> Oh, God. Tell me what like, you're laughing at so I can make a dollar bet and win. What is it? Uh, because I would have took the vertical threat guy, Leggett. Troy, oh, Leggett? Yeah. Yeah. Over I under $1 bet, over under Malachi Corley, pick 50. Yeah, Debo. I mean, uh, Rick, what about that? I want to say over. It'll be close. I'll take under just because I like to lose these dollar bets, apparently. Yeah. All right, Rick. Here's where things get interesting if you're the New York. Giants at 47 because Bo Nix is staring. And Spencer Rattler, by the way, is staring you in the face. Yep, that's good. They can keep staring. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's a ruthless business. All right. I, I I know I've got some edge, so I don't need an edge guy. Uh, traded for Burns, right? Got Thibodeau. Mm -hmm. I need secondary help. I think this guy could be a st nickel star. Oh, no. My guy? Yep, Lassiter. Oh, I thought you'd go with his teammate, Javon Bullard. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. I'm going to go with Lassiter because I think he can play outside. He had a four six five. He plays faster than I'm not worried about it. Yep. I say that now. We'll see. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr. is uh, who the Jaguars took at 17. They're back on the clock at 48 here. <laughs> I'm laughing because I want to double go to double down on uh, on wide receivers here. So uh, let's look at the cornerback position, Debo, because that's also something we should consider. You know what I might do, Rick? Oh, boy. I can't wait to hear what you might do. Go to safety. <laughs> Newbin. Yeah. A good football player. Tyler Newbin. Safety out of Minnesota. They have Darnell Savage listed as a safety. Uh, who knows? They talked about playing him in the, in the slot. I don't, whatever they figure out. I'm taking Tyler Newbin because I like him. All right, 49. The Bengals are back on the clock. Tully Fuaga went in the first round. That was an A plus pick, if you ask me. <laughs> what are they going to do at pick 49? Hmm. Go to tight end. I am going to take your guy Sanders. That's over Senate. Oh, just because of the the offense. Yep. Okay. And they need a they need a pass catching tight end. He can do that. Just don't ask him to block. Boy, Debo, you got a C plus on the Jackson Powers Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You may be a want? good podcast boss, but you really suck at picking. <laughs> and this is Jackson Power Johnson's biggest fan. Uh, what do you want to do at 50, Debo? Bo Nix? You guys tell me, Edron Cooper or Peyton Wilson? We need to line I'm taking, support. I'm leaning edge, Rick, just because of the age and the health. Oh, God, it's not even a, it's a no-brainer. I think Rick has edge ranked higher anyway. I do too, but uh, Peyton's fun. All right, yeah, edge Cooper if you want to get the – the linebacking position take care of. I think Giants fans have been clamoring for that, so hopefully that quiets them for a minute or two. All right, Rick, the Steelers need interior offensive line help. You messed up the first pick with J.C. Latham. What are you going to do with 51 for Pittsburgh? Uh, I think that guy can sign in and play guard, too. That's true. So um, give me receiver. I need a receiver. I will go with Leggett to get a vertical stretch guy. Oh, boy. That's a pretty good draft so far. All right, Los Angeles Rams are back up. Pick 19, they took Leatu Latu. Pick 52. Uh, let's see here. Hit the secondary button, Debo. Cornerback. I think I know what I'm doing. Don't do Ooh. that. Not. I like TJ Tampa. I like Max Melton, too. Man. Man. I think I'm going to take... Oh, gosh. Pick one. It doesn't matter, there. I was going to take Javon Bullard to play Nick, but I think I might go with instead. Yeah, you know what? I'm taking Javon Bullard. Sorry, sorry, Debo, to play oh Nick. My God. How come he gets to like change his mind? I don't get to change my mind. <laughs> He's so angry because <laughs> you waited 10 seconds after you made the pick. <laughs> they signed uh, Trey White and Darius Williams so I had to play outside. So um, they got Cam Curl as well. So Javon Bullard it is. All right, the Eagles are. I mean, what? How the Eagles game the system here? They're back up here, Rick. You're picking at 53. They just got Edge Cooper and Jackson Powers Johnson. What do you want to do? Well, Debo has continued to ignore our secondary. So, Debo, can you please just try to select someone in the secondary to help us a little bit? I love you. you guys tell me that's what I was going to say. Tampa or Melton? Uh, I'm going to go with Tampa. I like Tampa. Yeah, those are two good players. <laughs> You think you're grumpy now, Rick. Wait till you do the seven round mock draft. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finally, the Browns get to make a pick here at 54. Sweet mercy alive. I mean, what's the best player available? Bo Nix. I, I, that is not even off the. It's a consideration, I would imagine. Let's see. So they have a trade for Jerry Judy. Yeah. Uh, Okay, let's see here. Oh, my gosh. They have Devin Bush on the roster. I didn't know about that. You know what I'm going to do here? What? I'm going to take Peyton Wilson, Ugh. linebacker okay. at NC State. They need some help in, in the middle of that defense. Yeah. I like him in, in uh, Jim Schwartz's scheme. This defense is really good. The offense, I think it just depends on the quarterback. All right, next up. Miami Dolphins 
Troy Faltanu, first okay. round. Yep. I took care of my offensive line there. Well, I made that pick, but okay. Uh, <laughs> no, you did. Did you? That's uh, be shocking because it makes actually some kind of sense. Oh, yeah. I think you did make it. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. I'm going to go. I know Phillips is coming off an Achilles. I'm going to go with, give me the edge rushers. I need another edge guy, young guy that I can trice. From Washington. Washington, Washington there for the Dolphins. I did a lot of West Coast scouting this year. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Sorry, I was, I, was, I was making my next yeah, well, move. Stay with us here, bud. We got another round to get through. <laughs> I was looking you ahead. Yeah, you, you got to kind of stay honed in. You can't just take one first round and then go <laughs> have a hot dog somewhere. <laughs> you hate kids having hot dogs on the bench in the bowl games. All right, Graham Barton went to pick 24 for the Cowboys uh, at 56. All right, I think I'm going to have to. what would you eat during the draft? Not to sidetrack us, but like. Just catered like all day. Like I'm a little curious there. Yeah, they have catered food all day. They had a nice uh, kind of uh, early dinner. Um, usually some kind of you know barbecue or something like that. Um, then they would have uh, kind of bring in pizza and uh, some snacks uh, during the draft. Uh, we'd have a little uh, sandwiches and stuff after that night. You know, before you went home that night because. Usually we stayed there until about 12, 1 in the morning, just rehashing the draft and starting to restack the board for the next day. Do you uh, have post first round meetings? Huh? Thursday night, do you have meetings after the first round? Yeah. that We'll just look at it real quick, what's left. Okay. Tell them to go uh, just look at the board and think about it. And then I would stay. I would just stay. I'd love to stare at the board. I can stare at the board all day. Um, <laughs> like and, Rain Man? Uh, yeah. And just keep going through scenarios for the next Friday for the next two rounds. So, and then we would, I'd come back and we'd have a meeting a couple hours before and just tell them what I was thinking, what I was thinking about and tr potential trades and things like that, depending on who was on the board. So, yeah, it was uh, enlightening, I would say. All right. So you can stay up past 9 30 if you have to. Yeah, if I have to. If I'm getting paid to, I will. All right. I don't think you're working for free, but maybe you are. <laughs> yeah. All right, Debo, hit the all button for the Cowboys here. I have a couple of thoughts. So Bo Nix is still there. Troy Franklin's still there. Man. Oh boy. I'm thinking I'm thinking about running back here, Rick. They need a running back. I think hit the running back button. Yeah, you can stay right there. I think I'm gonna take Trey Benson here. Oh, geez. Pick fifty nine. That's your top running back, huh? Uh, I like Jonathan uh, Brooks, but he's coming off the ACL, and I, I want I want to make sure Trey Benson hits the ground running. He's your number two running back, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. job. Yeah. All right. Next up, Tampa Bay. Cooper DeGene went first overall, or the first round pick, now at fifty seven. Okay. Uh, I could use some interior offensive line help. Um, I drafted Mach Mach. Yep, North Dakota State last year. Don't have a center. Jensen retired. Um, boy, I'm gonna go with uh, Dominique Puna because he could play both center and guard. Yeah, that's a good and call. He did that down at the Senior Bowl. I like that. Oh man! All right. Packers are back. They've already had two picks. Nate Wiggins and Zach Frazier got the uh, secondary and the interior offensive line taken care of. They have Josh Jacobs. They have A.J. Dillon, the running back. They have Rashawn Gary coming uh, coming back from the injury. He's ready to go. They don't have a ton of needs here. Uh, I would give you a hint. Look at safeties. They saw, oh, you mentioned Xavier McKinney last round at pick 41. Uh, Jaden Hicks, Cole Bishop, Caleb Bullock is there. Scroll down a little bit, Debo. Cam Kitchens, Dorian Taylor, Dimerson. I, actually, I like and Tyke Smith. I like too. And hit the hit the cornerbacks just so I can see the nickels. Max, Chris Abram, String, Kyrie Jackson, Cam Hart, 
Andrew Phillips is getting some run here. All right. I think, oh, man. Uh, yeah, so let's stay here. I'm going to get a center fielder. I think, Rick, what I'm going to do. Well, I gave you the answer, so just finish the finish it. I, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take Caleb, Caleb Bullock out of USC. Correct. That's a oh, very gosh. Good <laughs> I mean, I can't give you any more hints. <laughs> is this how you are in the draft room? <laughs> well, the issue is he doesn't tackle well, but I think he can get better at it. But he can play center field. All right, 59. Houston Texans took Mikey Sanders still to play nickel at 42 and 59. What you going to do? Mm, I need some interior D-line help. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to go with an upside athletic guy. Rook, Oka, row, row, row. <laughs> Close From enough. Upstairs. Yeah, he's a good player. And he's new to football. Well done. Houston Texans next up. The old Buffalo Bills on the clock at pick 60. They got Lad McConkey, the best pick of the draft. Let's look at cornerback here. Debo, mm. and then mm. make some decisions. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm just look. I'm looking around. I'm not. Oh my god, I'm not married to anything. What are you? Oh my god, about <laughs> this is obvious. Ugh. Uh, all right, go to kicker. All right, let's go with. God, don't do it, please. I want to take Chris Gray, Chris Abrams' drink. Oh my god, I What's mean, what's wrong with that? They, they, they could probably use a pretty good edge rusher left on the board. There's some edges there that are very interesting. I mean, <laughs> Von Miller did not have a year. They lost uh, the other, uh, Floyd. Why would you take an edge rusher there? I don't understand it. It's, they it's re-upped A.J. Epinesa. We're fine. I'm going to circle back. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> How dare you laugh at A.J. Epinesa? I know. I was a good player, but I'm just saying you need edge rushers. Greg Rousseau is not a bad player. Okay. They need help in the secondary, too. All right. Listen, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we still in round two, Debo? I can't take this anymore. All right. Uh, the right. You're back up for... You're making every single pick for the Lions. That's interesting. So you you took. I didn't make the the Marius Robinson. You did, or did that's I? Chop. That's Chop's name. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chop at twenty nine at sixty one. You're back on the clock, Mister Spielman, for the Lions. All righty, here we go. I'm taking a Detroit Lion football player, Chris Haynes, guard from Utah. Oh man, that guy is such a good player. That's a good pick, man. He is nasty as they come. You can throw his helmet to the stands. He does not care, Rick. <laughs> he does not care. Sweet mercy alive. All right. Next up, Baltimore Ravens. Have two more picks in the second round here. Marius Mims at the top in their with their first pick. And let's see here. So, God, why is Bo Nick still sitting there, Rick? I don't know. All right. Um, I'm not going to overthink this. I don't think I'm going to overthink it. Maybe I will. No, I'm not. I got to get. Oh, yeah, I got to do this. All right. I'm going to take hit the wide receiver button, Debo, just to make sure I'm not missing on any of the guys I love. Scroll down his uh, hair. Oh, geez. So many good players. All right. Go back up. Let's just make this easy. I'm taking uh, Troy Franklin. Okay. Oregon wide receiver. Okay. And as long as he adds about 20 pounds and is stronger, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Next up. San Francisco 49ers at 63. I took Guyton last time, right? You took Tyler Guyton off the tackle. Go to the corners. Debo, I need corner help. Max Milton, put him in a bag and move him on down to the bay. <laughs> Is that how you transport these guys? Yeah. All righty. And finally, the final pick in the second round after the Chiefs took A.D. Mitchell at 32. Let's look at tight end. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> tight end. Let's look at the cornerback, Debo. Sorry. We lost our guy, Jerry Sneed. Josh Williams is currently penciled in as a starter. They have Trent McDuffie and Jalen Watson. Uh, did that, that uh, scroll down a, a, a hair here for me? Oh, people like Renardo Green. And go up. Uh, 
one more time. Let me double check here. You can keep going up. Yeah, there we go. Let's do. I'm going to do Renardo Green. He's a little more physical. I know Kyrie Jackson and Cam Harder are longer, but I like the physicality with which Renardo plays. All right, Rick. When we come back. Hey, yeah. Debo, when we come back, like when you put these up, will you make sure that you identify which picks are mine and which picks are? You have the oh, odd picks. picks. Uh, fittingly, you have all the odd picks and I have the even picks. So just I don't want to yell at for some of those losers you just put up there. <laughs> God, these poor, poor young men trying to make a way for themselves and break out here calling them out. All right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, Rick will make the third pick for the Carolina Panthers right after this. The Scudetto, where the soul of Italy meets the pinnacle of Calcio. Catch Seria on CBS Sports Network and streaming live on Paramount+. Plus. All right, Rick, just to reiterate, if it's an odd number, Rick made the pick. If it's an even, even number, I made the pick. Please vote in the comments to say which picks you like better. <laughs> and we can all hurt Rick's feelings together. <laughs> All right. My feelings don't get hurt. I'm, 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 I'm pretty, pretty secure with my, uh, with, with my feelings not getting hurt. I was going to say with the way that they go after you on Sundays, based on what I've heard in the green room, there's no man tougher on planet earth than Rick Spielman. <laughs> Pete Prisco is not one you want to be trifling with. If you're trying to get through your day unaffected by negative comments. All right, here we go. Carolina Panthers back at it. Ricky Pearsall. Christian Braswell, both Rick Spielman picks, and you have their third pick as well. Give me a corner. Let me go to the top of the corner. Kyrie Jackson, uh, I'm going to take him. Okie doke. Cardinals back on the clock. So hey. I've made a couple of Cardinal picks here. Yeah, so you did a good screw job. It up. Yeah. <laughs> You've gotten Kool Aid and Braden Fisk for them, and then I took Marvin Harrison Jr. All right, what do we need here? Do you think about Knicks here? What do you think? What do you think, Rick? I, I All I'm doing is just sitting and waiting for my pick. I don't care what you pick. I'm just going to react, okay? I'm worried about my next pick. You think I'm worried about the guys, three guys in front of me, what they're picking? I keep track of it or just make a pick and move on in life because <laughs> boy, I can't wait to read the comments and some of these picks that you made today. Does that answer your question, Debo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, let me Let's look at up my draft with Arizona. Let me look at my uh, at the uh, the tackles, Debo, and then I'll come back to Knicks. Oh, uh, Kidok! I think what I'm going to do. Oh man, I think I'm going to scroll down just a hair to make sure I'm not missing anyone. But I think what I'm going to do here is take Roger Rosengarten. Right tackle, move Paris Johnson Jr. to the left tackle. Take that, Rick. Next up, Washington's back on the clock. You have made zero picks for Washington so far. So this is the one that will go viral. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a go to the off uh, the tackle. Give me my Kingsley. Sumatei. I think it's Sumatei. We'll figure it out. Yes. All Take right, that one, Debo. God, <laughs> golly. All right, so Bo Nix is still sitting there waiting to hear his name called. Jonathan Brooks is also available. My running back one, uh, who's still on the board. Next up, the New England Patriots. They have uh, Drake May and Jordan Morgan, quarterback and offensive lineman. They don't need any guards, that's for sure. Uh, you know what? Click the tackle button again. I'm <laughs> I'm going to make sure. That every box is checked. They have Connor McDermott and they have Michael on Winu. I may take another tackle here. Jordan Morgan can play on the left. He can play guard. They don't need guard, like I said. I'm going to take Christian Jones, right tackle out of Texas. I like him, but it makes no sense to me that you would take the pick there. Why? They have to protect the quarterback. Who's going to throw? Who's he going to throw to? KJ, Os KJ Osborne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, we got it. It doesn't matter if you have all. Do you all, use just some common sense every once in a while. I'm not asking every pick. 
<laughs> really, I, 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 I would got, not expect that for every pick. You got Randy Moss and Wes Walker running routes. If you don't have more than two and a half seconds to throw, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's, that's fine. All right, uh, the Chargers are back up here, and you have taken all the made all these picks as well. Malik Neighbors and in, in a Shrake Straw Jr. Previously, what are you doing at sixty nine? Yeah, uh, boy. Um, Chargers here. Okay, ready for this one? No. Huh? This is, <laughs> Go a, ahead. Jim, this is a Jim Harbaugh pick. Oh, boy. Chris Jenkins. Yeah, that is Chris. Interior Jenkins. defensive lineman. Yeah, I don't hate it. I, I He's a great athlete. I wanted to see a little more from him. And sometimes the Michigan defensive players. He is a solid, steady Eddie across the board. Nothing spectacular, but a good football player. And uh, we'll secure the inside of that defensive uh tackle position and i Debo. want to toss out over under one and a half michigan players that harbaugh selects in this draft oh yeah. that's easy over yeah i feel like over two over it make it a little how about two and a half two and a half might even be a better number look at rick with the gambling lingo and getting it right two and a hook <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy that's probably some plus money on the two and a half yeah it's probably three close. Is a though. lot, <laughs> huh? Yeah, three is a lot. Okay, go three over and under. I'll give you a chance to win a dollar. Are you taking three or me? I'm taking three and over. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me let me win a dollar, Debo. I'll, I'll take the under on that. Watch me lose that one in the first three picks. He's gonna <laughs> draft six players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Debo. Rick fell right into my trap. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, the tangled web that you weave. That's I just, right. I can't get out of it. <laughs> And we'll see who's laughing in a couple of years when Bo Nix is taking the Giants to the Super Bowl. Bo Nix, come on down, baby. You are going to New York. That's perfect. I did, yeah, that's a great pick for them there. I wonder how the Giants fans feel about it. I have a, I have a, I have a hunch. All right, the Arizona Cardinals are back again. Is this their last pick in the – in the this, no, my, they have two more picks. Oh, my gosh. They're crushing it. Okay. Except All right, for, here. Let me do a quick recap for people listening, Rick. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr., and then I'll you've pick, taken Kool-Aid, Braden my Fisk, pick. and then Roger Rogan. Yes, you're up. Okay, go ahead. My pick, and then you <laughs> took Rosengarden. Which oh, right. Yeah, pick. that's right. That's Ryan it. Wilson's pick, so Cardinal fans yell at him. What is wrong with the Rosengarden pick? That's a great pick. All righty. I'm going to go back. Give me interior offensive line. I'm going to, although, because I've probably made a, a interior, it's I-O-L. He is on one. And then go to, boy, give edge, go to edge. Let's see if I have any. Oh, oh, there's some names. There we go. I'm going to Disa Isaac. Out of Penn State. Yes. Also a very juiced up edge rusher. That's my pick. Okay, just re make clear that Ryan Wilson picked Rosengarden. Yes, sir. I did it. I take full responsibility for that. All right, the Jets are on the clock again. Brock Bowers at 10. My pick at pick 72. What do you want to do here? So they got Hassan Reddick and Javon Kinlaw in free agency on the deep side of the ball. I mean... I don't know how many wide receivers do we need. Let's look at the wide receivers, Debo, just in case. We have Mike Williams. We signed Garrett Wilson. But you could add some people after that. Scroll down a little bit. I want to see if we can get some versatility here. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You know what I'm going to do? Oh, God. I can't wait. Oh, you're going to be excited. I'm not, I'm not going to take Malik Washington. What are you doing, Debo? <laughs> Scroll up. I'm going to take uh, – keep going up. I'm going to take Jalen Polk, wide receiver out of Washington. So to make Aaron Rodgers happy, push the chips into the middle of the table, as Rick likes to say, you've made every single pick for the next team, and that's the Detroit Lions. You've taken uh, Chop Robinson, Christian Haynes, the nasty interior offensive line for UConn, and pick 73, Rick, it's back at you. Uh, corner, please. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't see what you were hoping to see? Mm. I... Uh... You know what? Go to receiver. I got a higher receiver. Give me McMillan 
from Washington. I'll, okay. I'll just a little run on receiver right now. Yes, sir. All right, Rick. Falcons back on the clock here at 74. They're taking Jared versus my pick. Xavier Worthy, your pick. At pick 74, should we look at the edge rushers? No, they already took Dallas Turner. I mean, they already <laughs> took Jared first. Let's look at... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you, did you not take an edge rusher? No, I'm not going to take an edge rusher here. Why would I do that? That'd be idiotic. <laughs> <laughs> an idiot would take an edge rusher here. Are you crazy? All right, let's look at... Oh, I love TV. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's look at the cornerbacks, Debo. <laughs> this is sir. Awesome. <laughs> yes sir that's how we do it rick <laughs> don't hate on this falcons team we're trying to make ourselves better <laughs> <laughs> and then quickly let's look at the defensive tackles Debo, before our buddy has an aneurysm over here uh scroll down a hair let's see if i can talk myself to any of these guys uh yeah there it is <laughs> don't do it I'm taking Dwayne Carter out of Duke. <laughs> yeah, that's how you make the draft work for you, Rick. Okay. Now, since we're refresh and restarting here. The Bears on the clock here. You've taken Caleb and Dallas at picks one and nine. 75 okay. I am going to go to receiver, Devo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild time to be alive. Scroll down. No. Someone took it. Oh, uh, boy. All right. Go back to corner. No Jermaine Burton consideration here? No. Jeez. All right. Uh, go back to safety. Yeah, you tried to get cute and it blew up in your face, didn't it? Okay. I'm going to go with a football player, Cole Bishop. All righty. I didn't see that coming. Okay, here we go. I was it's, thinking it's now tackle. the time. <laughs> I was thinking offensive tackle, but I get the, the sense that Rick wants my guy, Spencer Rattler, to make his way to Denver. Sean Payton. All right, let's make it happen. Fingers crossed. Uh, yes, sir. All right, here we go. Next up. Las Vegas Raiders. You took Michael Penix Jr. at 13. I helped you out with Patrick Paul at 44, the tackle, and now you're here at 77. All right. I'm still looking for corner help here. Can you go back to the corners? Is uh, Did someone take Chris Abrams' drain by chance? I think I just took him. You did? Yeah. Several picks before. Okay. <laughs> this is okay. I am going to go give me uh Andre Phillips. Andrew Phillips from uh, Kentucky. Yeah, he's getting uh, some some buzz as we like to say. Commanders back up and here's what the Commanders have done so far. Three of these picks are mine, the home runs, Jaden Daniels, Darius Robinson, Keon Coleman, Rick took Kingsley Sumataya with the last pick at 67 at 78. What do we want to do here? Let's see. So best player available is Jonathan Brooks. Then we have Junior Colson. Junior Colson might make some sense here, Rick. He's a good football player. What's Washington got in the middle of that defense? They have. They got Bobby Wagner. They have Jamin Davis. Frankie Louvu. I like the Frankie Louvu pick as well. Ugh. All right. How about... We got the edge position taken care of. We've got tackle. Let's look at tight end real quick. Oh, okay. You're boring me. That's okay. I'm fine with that. This is easy. Ben Sennett. We signed Zach Hertz. Let's get Ben Sennett on the board. Hey, yes, sir. Good football player. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now, the Falcons are back on the clock, Rick. I just took Dwayne Carter a few picks ago. You can take an edge rusher here if you want. It's up to you. Yeah. No, you ruined my pick because – for 74, it makes no sense because I would never have taken Carter. You know who I would have taken here? What's wrong with Joe? What's wrong with Dwayne Carter? 74? I would have taken it 74. If you, you ruined it. Who? I would have took uh, Brandon Dorless. But since you've already taken two defensive linemen, I'm going to overstack there. So, <laughs> ugh, God, you're uh, just this is what's rather with this thing. 
I think we should stick with whatever teams we're picking because it screws everything up. <laughs> All <laughs> right, in the, in the seven rounder, we'll get each get teams, okay? Yeah, it makes a lot more sense that way. But again, I, I you know, I, I give suggestions to this podcast and oh, seems to go in one ear and out the other. What I'm hearing is that you don't like to collaborate, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm doing? I'm going what? interior offensive line. Okay. Uh, because I can use some offensive line help, and I am going to go Cooper BB. No, I'm going to go with yeah. uh, Christian Mahogany from Boston College. Love his toughness. Yeah, they're two. Old tight. two good, good players. Good, good football player. All right, Talif Wago went to the Bengals at 18, at 49. Jatavian Sanders tied in one off the board. Pick 80. Let's see. Let's look at. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> this is easy. Let's go to defensive tackle, Debo. Uh, is Brandon Dorla still there? Well, I give you the answers to the test. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. Also, he's listed as edge. Yeah, he can play inside it out. But let's say Brandon Dorla's here. Uh, I would have considered him if he was under the uh, defensive line. He wasn't. All right, here we go. Seattle Seahawks had pick sixteen. Took Byron Murphy. Fantastic pick. Pick eighty one. Rick, what do you want to do? I'm going to throw a little, a little bit of a curveball in here. Okay. If you're good with that. I can't wait to see the curveball. I'm going to go with Michael Pratt, quarterback from Tulane. <laughs> so they <laughs> so they have Sam Howell, who they traded for. Who knows what they're thinking with Geno, which is weird to me. I, I mean, I'm fine with that. That's, that's okay. You can never have too many quarterbacks. Michael Pratt, better arms than I thought, more athletic than I thought. We saw him at the Senior Bowl. Colts back on the clock here. Quinn John Mitchell. And Malachi Corley were their first two picks at pick 82. What do we need, Rick? What do we need? Uh, let's look at interior offensive line. Oh, Cooper's still sitting there. Why did you pass on Cooper out of curiosity? Uh, it was between him and Mahogany. I just think Mahogany's a little bigger, a little longer. So I went with uh, similar style players. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to take. Okay, give me one second. Sorry, I know I'm boring you, but I, I got to make sure I got to get this right. Okay, do I want to do interior offensive lineman? Yeah, I think so. Let's do let's do Cooper B. Okay, I wouldn't have done that, but that's fine. That's okay. That's what makes this so much fun. Next up, the Rams, pick eighty three. You took Latu. I took Javon Bullard earlier. Pick 83 is yours. I am going to go receiver here, and this is where I'm going to take Jermaine Burton. Okay. Burner. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, boy. J.C. Latham at pick 20. Xavier Leggett pick 51. Hit the all button, Debo. Let's see. I mean, we need interior offensive line help in the absolute worst way. To find your sweat. Scroll down. I just want to see the best players available here. Michael Hall Jr. still there. Blake Corm. All right, let's go to offensive interior offensive line. Because we got to make something happen here. And scroll up for me. So Van Pran, Bo Limmer, uh, Isaiah Adams. Scroll down a little bit. Oh boy, Mason McCormick. You know what I'm going to do? Stay, you can scroll back down there. I'm going to take a pick that I that I like a lot. I thought he had a good senior bowl and a good season. And um, if you know, you know, Rick. Tanner Bordellini out of Wisconsin. Okay, undersized guy. Okay, football player. <laughs> but he can play center. You fill the need. All right. So back at it, Chicago, uh, the Chicago, the Cleveland Browns, Peyton Wilson at 54, 85. You are up, sir. Boy. Um, Peyton Wilson. I'm going to stay on the defensive line. I'm going to go with the inside pass rusher. He's still the best guy in the bill. Best pass rusher. I can't believe he's still sitting there. Michael Hall Jr. from Ohio State. That's a good pick. Good pick. Here it comes. Houston ask, Texans. Yeah. Tavondre Sweat. Recent legal issues. 
Does that contribute to his fall or would he be yes. falling anyways? Yes. No, you don't have a DUI two weeks before the draft. So percent chance he's day three guy? Is it over 85%? Uh, someone may swing at him down here later. Okay. All right, the Texans, they're not going to do that because they took Rook Oro Oro and Mikey Sainter still. So next up here, let's look. Best player available. Yeah. You know what I might do here, Rick? I might. Let me double check. But I feel pretty good about this. See how you feel about it. Uh, hit hit the running back button. I just want to see where he's ranked. <laughs> he's laughing. Do I want to take a running back here, Rick? What would you do? No, oh, I, I just I'd like to sit here and, and laugh at what you do. Uh. I'm, I, know they, I know they traded for Joe Mixon, but Damian Pierce uh, wasn't as consistent last year. I know he had some injuries. I love what this offense is doing. I'm taking Jalen Wright. Mm, I like him, though. Good football player. Okay, the Cowboys are up here. Rick didn't hate it, so that's progress. Graham Barton, Trey Benson, both my picks. So Rick, fix it yes. here at 87. 87. Boy, <laughs> not what you want to hear. <laughs> I am going to go with. I can't take a running back since my GM already screwed that up. <laughs> you can take another one, Jerry Jones. Uh, I can I can, I can lean towards a linebacker here. Scroll down just a hair. Boy, I, I give me give me Junior Colson. He's a solid, steady Eddie linebacker. Good football player. Packers yeah. up here. Pick eighty eight. Nate Wiggins, Zach Frazier, and Kalen Bullock. What do we need here? So we have the interior offensive line taken care of. Cornerback. Golly, what's best player? Jonathan Brooks is the best player. Devondre Sweat, Blake Corm. Keep going down, Debo. Let's see if anyone pops. Jaden Hicks uh, doing a double up on a strong safety and then a free safety here. I, I'm just pick your guy so I can pick my guy. <laughs> uh, and then, all right. You know what? Scroll back up, Debo. I mean, God, this team is actually pretty well put together. Let's go with let's go with Jaden Hicks out of Washington State. Closer to the line of scrimmage guy. Move around, slap people in the in the mouth coming downhill. That's great. Took two guys very similar. Okay. They're not very they're they couldn't be more different. Okay. All righty. <laughs> uh Packers uh make the pick here. Buccaneers next up. Cooper DeGene and then uh Dominic Puny, the tackle, uh excuse me, the guard center out of Kansas. You're picking an eighty nine, Rick. I need edge if I'm Tampa. So go to the edge, please. Oh, God. Jonah Ellis is still sitting there. Please. That's Take your pick? That yep. Okay. Man. All right. The Cardinals so far, and they have a ton of picks. This is their last pick in the first three rounds. Marvin Harrison Jr., Kool-Aid, McKinstry, Braden Fisk, Roger Rosengarden, and Adisa Isaac. Look at All that. Oh, only C. <laughs> Great was your pick. Now you're going to ruin it for me. Yeah, let's see. That's what I get for leaving the room for just a minute and then having you taking a pick. You went to go take a bathroom break, and I uh, I took over. All right. Let's look. So you got defensive line. We got edge rusher. We got wide receiver. I mean, oh gosh. Uh, now things are getting – the seminar mock draft is going to take four days, Rick. Ugh, just pick a guy. No, I want to get this right. It's very important to me. Okay, you're about 50-50 on right and wrong. So <laughs> All right, see if you, see how how this how this fits uh, for size here. Give me uh, Jonathan Brooks, why, uh, running back out of Texas. Uh, I take that's a good pick. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, Packers back at it. Just took Jaden Hicks after taking Kalen Book, two of Rick's favorite selections here. Pick ninety one. Once again, Rick, you got to clean up the mess. Oh, here's one. Go to offensive tackle. 
I watched this kid the other day. Uh, Goncalves. Oh, Gonsalves. Goncalves from uh, Pitt. I, I like, like him. him. Yeah. So I heard uh, some teams might want to move him inside. I don't know how you feel about that, but I like the way he played. He he was injured last year, so he didn't play a ton of yeah, games, he but he looked pretty good. Games. Yeah, but he's pretty athletic. Yeah. Oh, good. That has to make you feel good that we agree on a player. Buccaneers back at it. I better you agreed with me. <laughs> Buccaneers took, just took Joan Ellis a few picks ago. They've taken two defensive players and an offensive player. Let's see here. Best player available. Uh, it's Finder Switzerland, Blake Corum, uh, Kieran Amagaji. I kind of like Kieran Amagaji here. Is this too high to take a developmental guy with upside as a tackle? I, I, don't ask me. I'm not worried about what you think or not think. Uh, Devo, how are you asking me? That's not my pick. Devo, how would you grade uh, Rick's bedside manner right now? It's, it's, this is getting very irritating to me. It sounds like an F. Reason. F on yeah, the bedside D, manner. D to F. Yeah, <laughs> D to F. All right, you know what? Oh, please, I can't wait for it. <laughs> Hit the uh, hit the linebacker button, D. But let's see what we got there. Rick Sky, Jeremiah Trotter's there. Let's take Jeremiah Trotter. All right, good football player. Yeah, this field's about the range. All right, here we go. Ravens here. We're down the home stretch, boys. Amarius Mims and, and Troy Franklin went off the board earlier. Ninety three. Rick, what do you want to do? Oh, you're going to be here. You go. You ready for this one? Nope. I've got to go to the defensive side of the ball. I watched this kid the other day. I really like him. Darian Taylor Demerson, safety out of Texas Tech. You're talking about stealing you know, people's papers. I've been talking that guy up <laughs> for weeks. That's a good pick, though. All right, 49ers. Tyler Guyton and Max Melton. First two picks. Picks 94 here. Let's hit the defensive line, Debo. Let's see who, who are some dudes left here. Oh, gosh, this Rick makes all sorts of noises. Mason Smith, I'd like. Scroll down a hair. And then let's go to the uh, uh, edge, just so I can see if there are any tweener guys there that I missed last time. Austin Booker. My guy Gabriel Murphy, Mo Kamara, those guys are all edge guys. All right, let's go back to I'm gonna take um Mason Smith here. Good pick. Fits their fits their criteria. All right. Chiefs. And Rick, this is your first pick for the Chiefs. It took AD Mitchell and Renardo Green with their first two picks. Pick 95 is yours. What are you laughing at? Those are two great picks. <laughs> he just fell out of his chair. Oh, right. Go to the offensive tackle position. I need to get an offensive tackle. I am going to go with Blake Fisher. Oh, right tackle pick. out of Notre Dame. Good pick, good pick. Jaguars back at it. Third pick of this draft. Brian Thomas Jr. and Tyler Newbin went before at 96 here. Uh, who are the cornerbacks that are still there? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to overthink it, Rick. Taking Cam Hart. You're overthinking it. Cornerback out of Notre Dame. What's overthinking that? That's good. Great pick. Thank you. Go Jags. <laughs> All right, Bengals. Yeah, you just uh, – oh, I took Brandon Dolores. What a great pick that was at 80 and 97. What are you going to do for Cincinnati? Oh, boy. I need to go. I need to get some secondary help. Go to the safeties. Slash, I know. And go to the corners. Do I still? DJ James. I'm going to okay. go. With, yeah. They got a lot of good secondary players out of Auburn in this draft class. Yeah. Steelers back at it. You get the pick for the Steelers. Finally. J.C. Latham. Yeah, you've been picking for him the whole time, except my Leggett pick, which saved you. Yeah. 
Hopefully he doesn't ruin our season, our Super Bowl run. J.C. Latham, Xavier Leggett, Tanner Bordellini, Wisconsin interior offensive lineman. Hopefully solves that problem. Pick 98. All right, let's see here. What do we want to do? Let's keep scrolling, Debo. Let's see. So we got the guard. We got the uh, – uh, we can't keep taking tight ends. I don't need a running back. Jeez, a pizza. All right, so let's think about this. All right, go to uh, go to the defensive tackle again. Let's see if I can find some somebody there. Can do something. Taylor McKay, we go and then go to edge. All right, let's go with uh, scroll down just in case. But I think I have a guy in mind here. Wake me up when you're done. I'm done. Austin Booker, it is edge rusher. Okay. Project. Kansas. Yeah, he's gone. Taking the bottom of the third round. That's where uh, Alex Highsmith went off the board. Great pick. Great pick. All right. Next up, the Rams, their final pick. <laughs> After effing a lot of them picks in previous years, they've done pretty good here. Latu, Javon Bullard, Jermaine Burton. 99, Rick. What are you doing? All right. You ready for this one? Let's go. I am going to go off the cuff here a little bit. No, oh boy. And I'm going to go with Adric Estime. Running back, Notre Dame. That's such a obvious pick with the current running back, Kyron Williams, who didn't test well and plays fast. That's a good pick. Good pick. Is there not a hundred? I think I, I have the no. Commanders having one more pick, uh, Debo. This machine not have it? No, but tell me who you got. Can I no. pick one too? Yeah, you take one. You take one. I can't. I don't have the draft board in front of me, so I don't know. I'm going to take Cade Stover, tight end from Ohio State, for the Washington Commanders. Over Theo Johnson. Yes. Okay. Cade Stover it is. So the mock drafts database simulator didn't have pick 100. We got you covered. Rick was not going to miss a beat. Cade Stover it is. Uh, he's a he's another really good football player, former defensive player. He's going to get better, I think, as it goes into the role. All right, uh, Rick. Let's recount every. <laughs> all 100 picks <laughs> okay that did that have the time work for that deep i think uh hour 15 ish is, is the range does that seem about yeah, right? it would have been a lot easier if you just say no. you're picking for this team you're picking for this team then you know, get into a flow because you don't forget like some people do on this podcast who I have no idea. previously no idea what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> and then you can really get a good flow of what's going on. But just a suggestion from the peanut gallery. All right. I will put it into the suggestion box, also known as the round file. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Like I told you, seven round mock draft, we'll each have teams. I'll get four teams and you get the other 28. Perfect. All right. That's it. That's a, a wrap on episode. I think this is 148. It feels like it's been three or four episodes. We'll be back uh, later this week. And we'll be back every day next week, the week of the draft. Uh, but thanks to my guy, Rick. Thanks to Diva Producer. Thanks to all you guys who watch and listen and comment. We'll see you guys soon.